The DSM is flawed and therefore we shouldn't use it. I hear a lot of people saying that, and respectfully, I have to disagree. Not that the DSM isn't flawed, it absolutely is. But there seems to be a lot of misconceptions as to where the flaws begin and where they end. A lot of people say that the underdiagnosis of women is the result of a flawed DSM that focuses primarily on white autistic boys. And while I cannot deny that this has been a historical factor of the DSM, when they adjusted the DSM-5 to the DSM-TR, they didn't actually change the diagnostic criteria because the diagnostic criteria for autism is mostly the same. The criteria for autism has nothing to do with gender, but what does have to do with gender is the way that that criteria is interpreted. The examples being given is usually a hyperfixation on something along the lines of hot wheels or trains and things like that. These are things primarily associated with young boys. Or an example might be an aversion to spicy food, something more commonly associated with white autistic boys. Hyperfixations on small toys and aversions to certain foods due to their sensory input are still diagnostic criteria. The examples that were given were what made it flawed and wrong. So when the revisions came out for the DSM-5, they didn't actually change any of the diagnostic criteria. What they did was change the examples given so that people could interpret autism in a different variety of groups. The biggest contributing factors to non-diagnosis in women and people of color is not necessarily that the diagnostic criteria is wrong, but instead it's that clinicians are not interpreting it properly amongst different groups that aren't white autistic men. The problem lies not in the DSM-5 diagnostic criteria for autism, but instead in the clinicians that allow their bias to cloud their feelings on autism. 